So you have seen we go off an algorithm here, ideally theta of n more tighter bond. How what is the what the called intuition of that in practice here? But only pain we got it up in solution number three is extra space. Is there any way we can able to take it up the space at the same time we can maintain the time? Again, the only way to really get a betterness is to find this, see the look at the existing solution. Is there any possibility of really making up betterness? Let's observe a little more deeper into the solution number three. So what are we doing in solution number three? We are trying to get into one single scan. That's definitely a good idea. Since I want to know whether one is repeated anywhere, I'm taking help of this extra array to look up quickly, you know, to find it repeated or not. This extra lookup is causing any space. How can you take up this space? If you take up this space, again, I have to do linear scan, which is not good. Or if not, I have to go for sorting. Again, n log n is coming up. Then I want in single scan. At the same time, I want take up space. How is it possible, Shiv? The first time, you may think that it cannot be possible to take up this space. But again, if you look at the problem statement, there's one more, uh, the same hint. If you observe again, the range is 1 to n minus 1. That means they're giving some kind of hint for us to come up with what they call some kind of elegant way to remove this space. Since the range is 1 to n minus 1, can we really what they call use what they call in place memory here? That means instead of going for external memory, can I really use the same array here to remember this true and flag kind of behavior? All I need is two states. First time I have seen, or is it so coming after first time? Since it's only two state information anyway. Instead of going for an extra array, same array here, can I use what you call some kind of a trick where I remember element comes first time or it's coming up after first time here. So because range is 1 to n minus 1, all elements are guaranteed to be positive here. So if element is positive means at some point you know that it is what you call coming up first time. Maybe if I can use a negation for that, that means I'm disturbing the array here. I'm expecting the array to be mutable, array needs to be changed. But if that kind of flexibility is given to us, I can able to use the same array to remember this kind of, you know, two-state information now. Let's make a more concrete understanding of this idea. Let me just take up this idea here. Now we'll, then we analyze it. So we call this a solution number four. Label, later we give it up. Let's take this data. So 0th index, 1st index, size is 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. My original data is 1, 4, 6, 7, 8, 3, 2, 5, 5. Now, so previously when first we took 1, we are going to other array to look up. Now, don't go to other array, go to same array, means which is in place, same place without extra space. That's what in place meaning. Now, go to the one here. So, see the element. It's positive. Positive means what? One is seen first time here. But I want to really flag it. Previously, I updated false to true anyway. I cannot do some kind of a random thing update. If I do, I lose the data. Without losing data, still I want to remember. One is seen first time. Since range is positive here, 1 to n minus 1, I can apply negation. Make this number minus 4. Now, that means 1 is seen first time. Now, go to the second element. Second element is minus 4. So, take absolute of that, which is 4. I'm not losing the data here. Go to the fourth index now. So, it's positive here. Positive means what? 4 is seen first time. That's why, remember that by negating the value over here. Now, third element is 6, absolute, anyway, 6. Go to 6 now, value is positive. And 6 is seeing first time, remember that, by negating the content of it. Now, 7 here. Now, go to 7 here, first time is positive here, remember that, by negating this. So, I should not circulate, because we haven't seen this. Now, so 7 is finished up, minus 8, absolute value. Take absolute here. Go to 8 and away here. First time you are saying it up. Negate this value. And I should not do this. So minus 5. Now 3. Go back to 3. So value is positive here. Negate it. Minus 2 here. 
so take absolute value here go to 2 so positive now negative it here it's finished so 5 here go to 5 first time negate it up it's finished up again absolute value 5 now go to this vertical 5 index but value already is negative that means we have seen 5 already once now we are seeing second time here that's why it's a duplicate here now written 5 as a duplicate so this is what the what they call the improvement you can think of from solution number 3 and it's possible only because in the current problem range is given as a positive issue if arbitrary elements would have been there both positive and negative so we might not really uh, you know this negation trick may not make any sense that's why for this problem that's how normal interview they always twist it they give some kind of hints they drop the hints anyway they want you to think take those hints take into the better solutions now the thought process how you really bringing a better solution is what they're always interested about it we don't want to remember the solutions but instead take the hints apply the mind at the moment keep on building a solution is what the essence of the you know the entry process so this is what item number what do you call four so just to summarize it we take the element instead of going to the lookup array we go to same array instead of making false as a true now we make positive value as a negative valuation now if if i go to the any index where value is already negative here means it's the second time we are seeing it up hence is a duplicate that's what this algorithm is all about what is the name we want to give for this kind of a thought process so here this seems to be specific to this problem maybe a kind of a negation trick makes sensible here again i call it as ad hoc strategy really call it as a negation trick we are playing it out on this problem let's analyze time and space complexities here so to compare with previous three solutions now what is time complexity what is space complexity again what is the low level operation core low level operation we are doing it up as part of this logic is we take the element we go to the index we compare is it positive or negative comparison and after that it might be required to really update to the neg negative value so multiplying with minus of that minus one here is also other operation all this is some number of what they call low level operations in general we can call this as c c is a constant number of operation for each element we are doing it up and elements we are daily doing out c star n so that's where maximum the worst case we require it so how do you really write it up this is where we need it up theta of n we can write it up here so theta of n space is going to be constant because we are not using enough extra space here few variables are enough so c variable c is constant units and anyway. so that's where theta of n space is going to be go one here but only issue here to really get this possible in practice was array should be mutable means we need to allow the array to get modified if array is not possible to mute then this solution doesn't make any sense even if you want to keep the original array back you can one more scan you do it up so make these values as positive here then you don't lose content but mutability is a must that's what we call it as solution number four so n algorithm and constant and so th that's where if you really compare with all these remaining three solutions now this is as good as solution number three but space wise is much more efficient and efficient let's experience this idea also in the code to see it up you know to get better understanding about this algorithm four now so we got a solution number four where without taking extra space in linear time we can able to solve this problem let's experience this now let me just copy this solution number three let me re this one million seems to be nothing here just let me remove this part all these guys, guys are performing very good for one million so we don't need to bother about that so find duplicate four now we don't have this auxiliary guy we just remove this part so we don't have to initialize it take off now so in temp we know that we are taking up what they call absolute value of that let's take up absolute of each of this here take absolute of n of phi once you take absolute of that then we go to the same array n of temp it's no longer a true we need to check 
is it already negative or not if it's negative we got the element written that immediately here which is temp if not we need to really update this to negative validation so enough temp without losing the value we just multiply with minus one so that's what we are doing here this is solution number four where we really require end time and space is going to be a constant let's test this solution now we got test case one again let me change to four first we'll look at the correctness of the algorithm now run as local ccpp let me see 10 elements fine let me try run as 100 elements now fine some boundary cases you, you you test it out now let me do the performance testing here run as local ccp application let me give you 100 thousand 10,000 lakh million 10 million 100 million you can see clearly it's exactly same time as previous one so and also we're able to save the time here uh, space sorry so that's why the solution four is really having the benefit of linear timing here as well as what they call so you know the time wise space we are able to avoid time we are able to get very good very good you know you know for our practical scenarios here. so the whole essence of this uh, video is to illustrate what do you mean by an efficient algorithms now so how do you really analyze algorithms in theory how to experience them in practice now how do you pick the final candidate solutions which can be taken to the production grade implementation so that's what so this video is all about